did something with your hair. Nan! Oh, I meant that nice! Caitlin. You know I meant that nice. Caitlin, I would just like to take a moment to apologize for basically everything that's been said this afternoon. What? what? We said nothing bad. None. Oh. Did we say anything bad? Oh. No. We've been delightful. This family is together in a neighborhood in New Jersey. And one by one, the members have, have died or have left. And the last person to leave the neighborhood is little Nicholas, who's a great big grown-up man now. And how the grandparents deal with that, and how you yourself might need to deal with separation and loss in your own family. And this one by Joe DiPietro. I mean, it surprised everybody. You know, so many laughs, so many... Well, even tears, you know, I mean, I mean it just, he, he pulls it off so quickly, you don't even know it's happening to you. This play is very heartwarming, which also appealed to me, and I feel like it's a simple story about love, and I don't know who couldn't relate to that, so it's, it's just enjoyable from beginning to end. You know, one of the beautiful things about having, you know, run this a couple times at the table is we haven't been able to get through a single read-through without somebody tearing up. And I think when a show is able to do that, but also make you laugh, I mean, what more could you ask? Oh, I just love this play. It's absolutely lovely. It's very, very funny, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's about family, and it's very heartwarming and touching. What happens in this Italian family is something that happens in all families when you really talk about love and regard and attachment separation, all these issues that every family confronts. I play the grandson, Nick Cristano, because he wants to make his own way, but he's also still closely tied to his family. So he's sort of at that stage in his life where he's trying to sort of reconcile all of that. Now, don't mind Nicky, Caitlin. He just gets a little upset, a little excited sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I like passionate people. Oh, that's a nice way of saying that. See, we ain't loud, we're passionate. So, Nikki, Caitlin hasn't had a date for a while. And Nan, that's personal information. Actually, she's right. I am playing one of the grandmothers, Aida, in, under, in Over the River and Through the Woods. And she is an Italian housewife from New Jersey. And she loves her grandson, Nicholas and she loves her husband and the other set of grandparents who um, share Nicholas. And her child was Nicholas's mother. I'm playing Frank. And Frank is a guy who reminds me a lot of my own father. You know, my dad came to the U.S. a lot, a lot later in life. He was about 27, but this guy came in over, over when, he was 20, when he was 14. And it's somebody who really came without much of anything. And made a life for himself and for his family in, Italy, in, in the U.S., coming from Italy, which he really felt he had to leave because there was really nothing there for him. Well, my part is uh, Nunzio Cristano, and he is the uh, paternal grandfather of uh, Nicky, the young male lead in the play, and uh, his beautiful wife is Emma. My character is called Emma, and she's married to Nunzio. And she is, um, she is one of the grandparents of Nicky, the young man in the play. And of course she adores Nicky. But then she adores everybody. My character's name is Kaylin O'Hare. She is a young, working, single woman who is looking for a date. And I would describe her as confident and honest. Go ahead, you two. Pretend like we're not here. Oh, it's like that's possible. <laughs> and now he's talking fresh. I am not talking fresh. He's talking fresh. Gramps, quiet. I can't be quiet. I'm passionate. The play is going to be at the Skadumpha Library in Damrascada in the Porter Meeting Hall, which is a very comfortable place to watch a play. You can see well from any seat, and you're very close to the actors. Um, we open on the 17th at 7.30 and we'll play the, the 18th at 7.30 and the 24th and the 25th at 7.30 and then the two Sunday matinees will be the 19th at 3 o'clock and the 26th at 3 o'clock. So if you can laugh and explore 
some pretty serious and sometimes very painful issues. That's beautiful. There's no better way to spend an evening than seeing a good play and coming away feeling better about life. Well, for reservations, you need to call 563-8116. This play can get to you. And, and that's what people want when they go to the theater. They want a sense that they've been uh, moved. And something has happened. The play's all about how you love your grandchildren and each other. It's funny, poignant, fantastic.